In today's video, we're cooking chicken butt on the Pit Boss. Hey, this is Ricer from Dead Broke Barbecue of Wisconsin, and welcome back to the channel. But if you're new here, we try to help you enhance and amplify your backyard barbecue fun. In today's video, I'm cooking chicken butt on the Pit Boss. Yeah, you heard me. Dash from SDS BBQ challenged me to eat chicken butt. Because in the video where I cooked the chicken leg quarters, I said, chop the butt off. But he says his grandma taught him how to eat it and she always said it was the last thing over the fence. Now Dash even made a video of himself eating chicken butt and he put it on his YouTube channel and that's where he challenged me. I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you guys can go over there and check out his challenge. So grab your chopping block and your hatchet, Bobby. We're gonna be eating some chicken butt. This will be a short video, but hey, when you get challenged in these days, you gotta stand up for yourself. If you accept it, you better do it. Okay, so my buddy Dash challenged me to eat this. And if any of you guys can see this, that's a chicken butt. I guess I gotta go along with the show. Honestly, I've never had a piece of chicken butt before. I've always chopped it off, so this might be interesting. I don't like chicken fat at all. Now Dash did tell me that there's some good meat in there, and if you get the skin nice and crispy, you can gnaw on it for at least five or 10 minutes. No. We'll see, Ricer eats chicken butt. We're gonna check out this chicken. We got a long ways to go. And a short time to get there. I'm eastbound, just watch old bandit run. All right, I'm gonna stick a probe right in the thicker part of the chicken breast on that one. And then we're gonna go ahead here and stick it in the fatter part of the thigh. Probably have to adjust them a little bit. We can go ahead and close up the lid. I got a little grease splatter. Trying to get this done, Dash, before it gets dark out. No clouds in the sky. Things I do sometimes just to fill my stomach. Plus it gives me more beer time. And Irina always lets me have beer when I'm cooking. Sitting around the house, no beer. But if you're on the grill, she okays it. Ukrainian approved. At least I have a nice set of lights out here so you guys can see how nice my complexion is. Ooh. I don't have zits. There, that's a little better. Just turn down my ND filter. For all you barbecue YouTubers, just remember, put on an ND filter on the end of your lens and you can adjust it when you're outside. That's just a simple little pro tip from Dead Broke Barbecue. All right, so our chicken butt has come up to about 154 degrees, but I can't stand rubbery chicken skin. So I'm gonna flip these over and crisp them up a little bit. We're gonna turn this pit boss up to 400 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out the probes and flip these over and we're gonna start crisping up that skin. Ooh, she's humming. She's making some noise. She's cooking pretty hot now. Close our lid. Should only take about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna watch our probes. Then we're gonna get out our Insta Read thermometer to make sure that that chicken is done. Now the probes on the Pit Boss, I'm not sure if they're 100% accurate. I do believe in my MK4, it's always right there and I have a 10 degree difference between what those probes say and what this says. So you're always gonna to wanna to check your internal temps with an InstaRead thermometer. All right, this chicken's done. We're gonna pull it off and we're gonna try some. First time off the Pip Boss. Pretty excited. Okay, so this is how we like our chicken. We like that skin nice and crispy. And here's the chicken butt. And you can see this is running right off. It's so juicy. Pretty good. Get out the hammer, get out the knife. We're gonna eat some butt tonight. Chicken butt. <laughs> it ain't that bad, Dash. There's the spine. Uh, uh, come on, focus in. There's the tail. All right, Dash, I ate chicken butt. The crispy part's good. That butt is cracked. Oops. It's done. Guess what? Little bit of chicken butt. Man, this is juicy. Wow. That was just a knob. But hey, it's all right. Dash, I accepted your challenge, and I met your challenge. Thanks, buddy. It wasn't as terrible as I thought. But man, this pit boss. Look at this juice running off this thing. It's crazy. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Mmm, yummy. Now let's go through a couple comments from last week's video. Eric's Barbecue and More says, what's the price on the pro? 
Looks like a nice pit for a pellet smoker. Well, Eric, it was $600 at Lowe's back in the beginning of June 2019. And it is a pretty nice pit. I just cooked three briskets on it this past weekend. It worked like a beast and left one heck of a smoke ring. I'm very impressed with it. Is it a little lighter on the smoke flavor compared to a stick burner? Yeah, but I didn't have to sit there and tend to it the whole time it was cooking. So it certainly has a lot of pluses. Now Eric has a nice old country Pecos offset and he actually modified it with a water pan underneath it. So if you own a Pecos or any other type of offsets and you wanna learn how to modify it, go over and check out Eric's channel and make sure you tell him Ricer sent you. He'll appreciate it. And our last comment comes from Tom Horseman himself. He says, congratulations on the cooker. Well, thank you, Tom. And coming from a grandmaster barbecue grill collector like yourself, I really appreciate you stopping by and checking out my channel. Now, Tom has a tremendous amount of cookers in his backyard barbecue arsenal. I think he almost owns every single type made. Plus, he likes to modify them and make them better. So if you wanna go check out a guy with a lot of variety, go over and see Tom Horseman. Now I'm gonna have a link and two sub buttons for both of these guys at the end of this video. So stick around, check out their channel, and make sure you tell them Ricer sent you. They'll appreciate you stopping by and saying hello. I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video. Now there wasn't a lot of instructions on cooking or anything like that, but I was challenged and it was right after I did the burn off on the pit boss, so I thought, why not? If I'm gonna be lighting it up, we better be cooking some food. And I always say, start with chicken. And so does Dash. Brothers from a different mother? Well, obviously I ate that chicken butt and Dash, you did it. I can't ever say I never ate any chicken butt anymore, so congratulations to you, young man, because I am your elder and always respect your elders. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, become a subscriber. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. I don't run on any schedule because I do have a regular day job, but I typically try to get out one every week. I don't want any of you guys to miss me or anything, but I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Ugh, still recording. I wonder if I'm overexposed. I got the zebra prints here. Zebra. Uh, eyelash that's sticking out, driving me nuts. I might not have zits, but I got an eyelash that's driving me crazy. Uh -uh.